Hello, welcome back. This is Kenshin1913, and we are Let's Playing Arc the Lab 3. In the last episode, we did the Power Plant Chief side quest. And now we're going to actually head over to... Where's the inn? We're going to head to the inn, rest up, and then head to our first job. And uh, I'm actually going to do this one, then do a save state, because the next one is a little tricky. It's a little tricky. Thanks for staying. Have a nice day. And let's look at our monsters for a sec. Let's see. Got the card. Haven't used it. So I guess uh, we'll have to find out what it does. We'll have to find out what these things do in battle. Hopefully some good stuff. Anyways, let's head over to... The, uh, guild here. Start doing some jobs for this town. This damn stinking town. With its water guild. Or water orb. That's protected by stuff. Anyways, I'm just gonna look at these again. So we're going to do the Bizarre Item Contest first. So, let's do it. The guild is seeking participants for an item business contest in the Bazaar. Only hunters with extensive blah blah blah. Alright, so... So it looks like we're going to start this right away. And look who it is, our favorite rivals, Alba and his buddies. Klutz? No, that's him. It's Lutz. And I'm Alec. Yeah, yeah, whatever. It wasn't cool to remember, I guess. I'm sick of you! What a jerk. Anyways, uh... Now we're gonna head to the bazaar here. Where the trade competition takes place. Alright, so what we have to do... Why is he such a jerk? Yeah, you might end up being surprised. I can put one foot in front of the other. You're not very nice. So what do we have to do? You'll start with trading an herb. You'll have to get to the bazaar with, with at least five trades. You have to get the most valuable thing. So there's uh there's so many things that we can do. The best item is a silver sword, and the way that we have to get it is we have to go through various shops and and talk. With losers like you on your oh god, why are you so mean? You're so you're so mean. There you go. Alright, Lutz. So Lutz is gonna do this job. Please? Yeah, let, let, let's do it. Can I control Lutz? Can I control Lutz here? Okay, so... What we have to do... Hey, there's Chungara. Hey, Chungara. How are you doing today? Silver armor, green mantle. You are one of the seven. Oh, he gave us a general tonic. A recovery tonic. A red apple. Oh, nice. Thank you, Chungara. Take care, Brave One. Alright. Hey, Keylak! Look at that. Alright, so, uh... 
We gotta trade for a silver sword, okay? And what we'd have to do is go from here, trade a memory thingy, and then go to number two, which would be over here, get a sword, and then we go to number four over here, grab a vest, and then go to six, which would be right here, grab a, a magic apple, and then from there we would go and get a bomb here, and then get a silver sword over here. Now, if you counted that, that would be six. Uh, six trades that we'd have to do. So, somewhere along the way, we need to do... We need to get a, uh, another, another, or do, cut through. So, anyways, we're participating in the contest, and this is where we're starting. We have to... We have to trade an herb to this guy. And it's either a power jelly or a memory plant. I'm gonna take the power jelly. Yay! So that's one trade. Okay. Now from there, we're going to take the power jelly and bring it over to merchant number three, which is right here. And I do have a power jelly. A bronze dagger or a steel sword. We're going to trade this guy a bronze dagger. And now what we're going to have to do is talk to Alba over here, because we're going to use his overconfidence to actually beat him. It's like what you have in your pants. <laughs> he just got a special item. What kind of item? So he'll trade for a knife. So we do have a knife. So let's trade him for an item. That's a little crap I said, ain't, but I didn't mean any knife. Oh, so he's still gonna trade. So hell yeah, let's trade. So he gave us an apple extract. Now that actually will cut down two of your trades. So now we can go over to the guy who's looking for an apple and he'll give us a bomb. Which seems like a pretty fair deal, right? Right? Alright, so these guys will tell you what they're gonna give you. Apple! What'd you say? Apple, apple, I needed an apple immediately. Don't you have any? So we do have an apple, even though it's a crappy apple. And he'll trade us a bomb for an apple, so any kind of apple. So let's give him that. And now we have the big bomb. And now... We can give this big bomb... Now we'll use this big bomb to get the silver sword. Silver blade! Yeah. Perhaps it would be more worthy. I have lost faith in this one. I will trade a silver blade for a big bomb. So yeah, I can do that. Hell yeah, I'll give you a silver blade. Yes, I do have a big bomb. So we've done it in less than five turns. I think that's one, two, three, four, five. Or no, we've done it on... Well, we've done it. We've done what we need to do. Now let's talk to him. The silver blade should be the most expensive item. Yeah. Let's see what we have here. Oh, a silver blade! And what does Alba have? Oh, they're not even gonna show you. Ha ha, Alba. You lose! Maybe you can learn a little humility. Hell yeah, nice job, Lutzy. Mr. Lutz. So we've completed one of a uh, couple of uh, questy quests. 
Now the next one actually is another one that involves Alba, but I want to get some more cards before we head in. Boom, now we're an awesome hunter. Wow, there's a lot. Alright, so let's look at these again. I know I just looked at them, I apologize. But we're actually going to take a couple of these on, hopefully, and get some, uh, get some nice cards. Because I need cards for this next part. Because if you remember, there was a battle earlier where Alba was like, Oh, you gotta get to, you have to beat these guys in so many turns, and if you don't, then you're screwed. So I want to collect some cards. But the only way to collect some cards is to come in here and or different places to collect some cards. Because Theo needs to be able to really whip some ass. I think I already have a Hemon G. But we'll take him on anyways. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. I wanted Cheryl in the group. Urgh. I'm torn. I gotta beat him. Yeah, do I have a Hemon G? No, but I, I guess I can collect one. Oh, Son of a bitch. What the hell just happened there? That one was a wonderful Hemon G compared to the a wild one. What the hell does that mean? Oh, now they're beating up Theo. Let's come over here and use this. Life Fragment, nice. Sweet. Yeah, sorry, Theo. Alright, so we got one of those. Let's try going in here again, seeing if we can fight the other one. Oh, here we go. These are the ogres I want. I'm gonna take them on now. Even if there is no guys there. Nope. So let's take them on, even though... Yeah, let's let's weaken him a little. Cardish these guys. Come on, you can do it. Yay! Don't turn me into a Hemonji. Oh, look at this guy. He can cast fire. How nice. Uh, yeah. Bye bye. Bye bye. Boom. Let's let let's see. No, no, no. Alright, so emits a paralyzing flume, steals HP, explosion. Okay, so. Alright, so there wasn't any guy here. Let's try two more spots and then we'll go. Because I want to get I'll probably get rid of that smog. The smog guy. I think I already fought the guy at the wharf. Yeah, well. If anything, I'll get another light. Because the light, the fire guy will be good. Uh, 
Oh, uh, no. Alright. I'm not gonna fight this battle. We've already seen it. Let's try one more spot. Let's try one more spot. If we don't fight an infamous monster, I'm actually gonna show off the danger dome. Because that's... Because maybe I can get some more good item or or better items there. Maybe a weapon or two. Might be a good idea. See if I can... Oh, look at this. We got some nasty turtle guys. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Oh, here we go. Underkill. Alright, so... Knife Rain. This thing is so good. Let's cure you. So no, let's summon this and see how this does. Should emit a paralyzing fog on almost everyone. Now let's see something here. Yeah, what the hell? Not bad. These guys' armor is really high, of course. So let's use Knife Rain on you guys. There we go. This guy's almost dead. Oh, uh, let's try to cardish you. You might be better than uh than the other guy. Hmm. Yay! Oh, I can't reach you. There you go, finally your attack went up, and you got new magic. You know, you're killing it, Lux. Just hang out. Let's, let's see what your news... No. Oh, you got Rob Mine. That's not bad. Yay! Alright, so we got enough, I think. Enough nice cards. So let's, uh, let's head back to Danger Dome and I'll show you what that's all about. So you want to go into the Danger Dome and you want to trade off, uh... Trade off weapons or items or whatnot to get better weapons or items. Depend. It really depends. Like that's how I got all these platinum stuff. I started with iron, went to silver, went to platinum. So what I'll do is I'll see if I can get a new weapon for uh, Alec here, because I'll use him in the Danger Dome. So I don't. Yeah, I don't have a. I guess I'll have to use a silver sword. And now what we're going to do <clears throat> is, give me a second, I'll make a save state. Because now what you can do is you just got to pick between the guys here on what you want to fight. So, yeah, give me a minute. Alright, I'm back. I'm going to fight this guy. He's a gun guy. I don't want to fight anyone that has any spells. And I don't want to fight the, uh, the bad guys. Or the, uh... So, my Platinum Sword versus his Crystal Sword. Sure, I'll fight. Now, the thing about the duels is they're one-on-one. -on -one. 
and they are, um, I think they range between your levels, so whatever level Alec is on is the level that this guy will be on. You can really, you can really boost your, uh, your gear by, uh, you can really boost your gear and stuff by, uh, by, by doing this. The only thing is Cheryl's weapon. And you don't have to have, like, Alec fight for Alec's weapon. You, you can have, uh, you can have anyone fight for it. So, you can, you usually do this, you usually wager something to get a better item, but in some cases you don't. Like, I'll show you in a minute. So we get this item, uh, not free of charge, but, you know, we get to keep our platinum sword. But now we have a crystal sword. Look at that. <clears throat> so let us try to... Now I'll show you what happens with Cheryl when we try to do that. But let's try to get Theo a new weapon, too. So who do I want to fight? Do I want to fight ninjas? Do I want to fight swordsmen or a gun guy? I think I'll fight a gun guy. And let's let's uh, wager a uh, silver, a platinum one, and a crystal spear. Sure. And here I'm gonna I'm actually gonna use uh I'll actually use Alec for this one. Because once again it is a one-on-one -on -one duel. But look at his attack power now. Look at that. 71. So yeah, the night. One thing you want to do to get your the maximum hits is uh is actually is actually attack them from behind, and usually you'll do the maximum amount of damage. Usually. And there we go. We'll get a crystal sphere. Spear. Spear. And they're very good. So this is a good way. This is a good way to uh, to actually get um, good armor and weapons really early at this point. So let's equip uh, Theo here. And look at that! It brings up his attack power. Very good. Although it's not nearly as good as uh, Cheryl's. Now one person you don't want to fight is this guy here because he'll he'll he's got a healing spell. These guys are both uh, magic guys, so let's do one more wager and see how this works out. So if we put up our submachine gun, he'll your submachine gun for my herb, and see now that is not a trade I am willing to make. See for Cheryl, she can't get a new weapon at this point, but everyone else can get something new. You know what? Um. Yeah, let's have you equip the silver one for now, and let's fight you, and let's see if I can get a crystal breastplate or something. So this is a great idea to uh, do to actually like get your um against my amazing herb. No, thank you. And each guy is basically going to give you the same thing, so you don't want to do that. But what about this? Let's try Platinum Man. What are you going to give me? No. Alright, so apparently they don't want to give us anything better. Let's at least get you a, uh, a new weapon. Yeah, so for some things it's really good. Some things it's not so good. Platinum Knife. And my Crystal Knife. Sure. So we'll show this last one and then... In the next episode, we'll do that mission. But we've got better weapons. And yeah, I could use uh, Lutz here, but I'm just going to continue with Alec. And if you use Lutz, it'll be on... Th this guy will be on the level that Lutz is on. But this will also help... Uh, with that next mission. Whatever. 
Yeah, the only thing is with the guns. I'll have to look and see what, what I can do for guns. And we get a crystal knife. Yay! So that's how the uh, Danger Dome works. I think if I do any more Danger Dome stuff, I'll probably... Well, if, unless it's really important, I'll probably do it off-screen. And then I'll just kind of put in the video description what I wagered and what I got or whatever. So in the next episode, we'll continue doing some jobs down in uh, South Solarto. This has been Kenshin1913. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.